Hello, welcome back to another You Ask, I Answer. Uh, I will slide in the question from a viewer. Uh, not an easy question to answer, all right? What are some indicators or, or top indicators of a healthy comic market? Perhaps it is easier to answer this question going the opposite way as far as what are signs of an unhealthy market. So if you can recognize the sign of an unhealthy market, then you can see when it is healthy. Okay, so hopefully by going that route, it makes sense. And this apply to just about any market, to be honest, whether it's real estate, crypto, stock market, you see this play out every time whenever there is a bubble in the past, all right? It's always have similar characteristics and here are some of the signs of an unhealthy indicators of an unhealthy market heavy speculation we all know what happened in the housing market for those that's old enough to live through the 2007 2008 2009 real estate crash rampant speculation rampant speculation in the housing market everybody was jumping in buying house with no money down yes the banks help with easy lending policy but when everybody is in the market flipping house repeating the same nonsense you can't lose money with the real estate because they don't make more land yeah I'm sure many of you heard that, right? But rampant speculation is an indicator of an unhealthy market. We have that with this hobby. The pandemic played a big part in the rampant speculation of many things. One of the big signs that we saw was what? TV related hot books. For many years, people didn't care anymore as and then you have properties that was always ignored like movie adaptation all of a sudden those books blew up because why because some of the new participants ignore all the rules oh first appearances first this first that so let's all pile in fomo in and pump it Rampant speculation of nonsense is an indicator of a very unhealthy market. I saw this so many places on YouTube. Classic X-Men reprint facsimile is going to blow up because people that can't afford the first print is going to chase after facsimile. Really? Last I checked, many of those facsimile 9.8 is going for 60, 70. Then it blow up. They're not gonna blow up, okay? It's but rampant speculation. On top of that, part of that rampant speculation is what? New participants that know very little about the hobby saying a lot of crazy things, ignoring historical past, all right? That's part of the bubble. And this happened too with real estate, with the stock market. We saw the crazy stuff with the stock market during the pandemic with the meme stocks, with the Wall Street bets a crowd, the Robin Hood crowd, people that pump up AMC and GameStop. A lot of New participants don't care about technical, don't care about fundamental. They care what the crowd think. Okay, so another indicator is just what I said. When the crowd are filled with people that have no idea what they're doing, the crowd, the mass, the loud voices are often not the right voices. They're loud. Social media allow them to be loud does not mean that they are correct at all. For me, ignoring historical past 
has always been a big problem with any market and and an indicator of an unhealthy market is when you see books that have been steady climb many keys okay steady climb sure there are up and down but it's steady the trajectory over the last 10 years has been upward for the most part but then what happened in um, 2020 and 2021 you have this and then you have this parabolic move in many books books that was going up 10 15 percent a year all of a sudden triple quadruple in six months that is not normal okay not normal same thing with the stock market the stock market for those that follow the stock market historical return over the past 50 years is around 10 percent so is it sustainable if a stock market go up 30 percent a year it may do that two or three years, but then it's going to crash. Same thing with the real estate market. The historical return of real estate over the past 80, 100 years is 7% or even less. Through the real estate bubble of 2005 through 2008, housing was going up three times the rates. Instead of like 7%, it was going up 25%, 30% a year. A house literally doubled in three or four years. That is not normal. Okay, so any market, when you see massive return exceeding normal return, that's an indicator of an unhealthy market, a bubble ready to burst. So for me, whenever I see rampant speculation, a lot of new entrants into a hobby that know nothing about the hobby, but are loud and exceeding appreciation and insane appreciation of many things, way above historical average, those are the indicators of an unhealthy market. Another one are the, the common saying that I'm sure many people that participate in many markets have heard this saying. This time it is different. How many times have we heard this time it's going to be different? It's a new norm new paradigm <laughs> uh, this time it is not going to be different okay it, it has never nothing different has been able to maintain over a long period of time eventually the norm is the norm okay over time over the past many decades i have seen this play out in just about every market that I follow, if not every single market that I follow, from crypto to the comic market to, to the real estate market, it has happened over and over again because human beings, we, we are very flawed. We are very flawed in that we don't learn from our history. Many people don't. And maybe and many younger people that enter the market kind of not know the history, didn't learn it in school because school don't teach you. The school system in this country does not teach young people about the bubbles. All right, so ultimately it is greed and fear that create the bubble and the crash, and. A sign of an unhealthy market is way too much greed, all right? Way too much greed because greed is what motivates people to say and do a lot of dumb things. So for me, all of those things I just mentioned in the last 10 minutes, 
are indicators of a very unhealthy market. And so the less that you see of these kind of behavior, more people leave the hobby, less speculation, book crash, return to normal return, those are signs of a healthy market instead of the madness that we saw in 2021 and 2020. I hope the last 10 minutes or so answered the question. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.